A Life Made by Hand, the story of Ruth Asawa, written and illustrated by Andrea Diacchino. This is the story of an artist you may have never heard of. Her name is Ruth Asawa. She was born in California and her whole family worked on a farm. Working with her hands was an ordinary thing to do. It is what all the hardworking people around her did. But Ruth was no ordinary person. Ruth looked carefully at everything around her. What kind of plant are you, she wondered. What a fascinating shape your shell is, snail. What delicate and beautiful wings you have, my friend. Hello, spider. How did you figure out how to make your web? Ruth liked to look at the drops of water in her garden. She often stopped and noticed how the light shone through their delicate shapes. Her hands were always busy making things out of anything she could find. She made tiny animals out of the wires she found around the farm. She created shapes by folding paper. She loved to draw forms in the dirt with her bare feet. On Saturdays, Ruth got a break from the busy farm work. Her parents sent her to Japanese school where she was given lessons in calligraphy. She learned to hold the paintbrush and shape the bold characters with black ink. When Ruth was older, she continued to study art. She went to Black Mountain College, an unusual school filled with brilliant people. People like choreographer Mercy Cunningham who made shapes in the air with dancers' bodies. And one of her most inventive teachers, Buckminster Fuller, who was always busy coming up with new ideas to make our planet a better place to live. Joseph Elbers taught students to make art out of everything around them. Leaves, paper, wire, clay, even garbage. Don't throw it away. Just look at it in a new way. He became famous for his square color paintings. Ruth was eager to learn from interesting people around her. On a trip to Mexico, a local craftsman taught her how to weave with wire, looping it around and around to make baskets. When Ruth got back home, she experimented with wire. She was so excited to discover that a lion she was so excited to discover that a line can go anywhere. In Ruth's hands, simple wire turned into graceful sculptures that were light as air. Ruth continued to weave all day, even when she had a family of her own around her. Her hands never stopped moving as she looped and looped over and over again. Now it was time for people to look closely and wonder, how did she make that? I think it defies gravity. Is this some kind of sea creature? Maybe something from outer space. The one thing everyone knew was that her sculptures were beautiful. People go to see Ruth's art in museums all around the world. You can too.